Okay guys, now that we officially closed on the house, I figured I could give you guys like a house tour on the new rental property that we just bought. Um, I just dropped off lunch for our employees, so I figured I'd give you guys a little tour of it. Um, it is in South Tampa. We are looking for renters currently, so let me know. Just DM me on Instagram or something and I can get you hooked up with the details and everything like that. So let's take a tour. Okay, so you walk in the front door right here. They just renovated this actually. So there's these vaulted ceilings, nice living room. I did not even realize they left that and that for us, I guess. I don't know, that's probably gonna have to go in the trash. Um, the kitchen is beautiful. This was fully redone as well. It's kind of weird that they didn't bring it out to here, but that's okay. Um, yeah, new appliances. Stainless steel. I love the backsplash and the countertops in here. It's beautiful. Um, another appliance right here. And then we have one bedroom right here. It's a pretty decent size. And then it's a Jack and Jill bathroom. Right here. This could probably be updated a little bit better, but it's okay for now. I like the tiling in the shower. It's actually really cute. And then we go into the other bedroom. This one's a little bit smaller, I think. Plenty of windows in here. There is fans in both um, bedrooms. There's a little closet back here. I still remember the first time Austin and I like randomly came to see this house. It was like really on such a whim. Um, then we're back out into the living room here. And if we walk over here, there's like this little area right here. You'll see window. It's like a cute little entryway. And then here is the master. Austin, why does it say that? These doors are for the opening of the laundry room and will be installed prior to closing. Right here. Why were they not installed? It's a good question. We probably should tell the bank. <laughs> yeah, we, they need to be installed. That's not right. Well, are we going to have to move that hot water heater, I wonder, yeah? I'm going to build a little laundry room outside. Okay. Like a little addition you got on the kitchen. So, is this going to be the bathroom or the closet? I'm probably going to make the bathroom over here and make the laundry outside. It's always bigger. Put like a tub, toilet, vanity or something. So then where would the closet hypothetically be in closet. here? And then I'll make it over okay. here for the bathroom. Okay. Maybe a, a slider door. I don't know. You can't do a slider that doesn't have room. I would make it. You just get it over the wall. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Or honestly, it might be better to do the toilet there with the shower here, with the sink here, maybe. I don't know. This is such a weird layout. But currently, there is only one bathroom, but these floors are really cool. I think they're really stylish. Um, and then there is that step right there. I like the light fixture in here. That's really cute. That's that. What are you doing? This backyard really is so huge, Austin. What? The backyard really is so huge. I found these samples, well not these samples, but these extra things that they, I guess they left here. There's like a bunch of them down here and I'm thinking we can put them actually in our house and do a backsplash there. Um. That's what they currently have here. I'm just a little bit confused because they are different colors. Like this one's darker and then this one's like a lighter one. So, but it looks like they kind of intertwine them and it doesn't really look that bad. It kind of looks cool. So I'm just wondering about that. I'm gonna take some home with me, pop over to Home Depot this weekend and see, um, just price it out to do our whole thing. But yeah, I think this might look really good guys. I got myself a little Diet Coke from Guthrie's when I got the guy's lunch, but that is that. It looks crazy out here. We're doing the backyard and stuff right now, but yeah, they're doing a great job out there.
they're putting a whole patio in the back of this house and stuff so it's kind of weird also for anyone that is wondering we did talk about moving into this home um that's another reason why like a couple vlogs back I didn't tell you guys like what was happening because I just been totally closed on the house there's so many different things that can go wrong that can push a closing back that things can fall through so I didn't want to say anything until we actually like closed on a house this is our third home um so yeah I'm feeling very fortunate and not, not even like fortunate like I am fortunate for this life we have but we work our ass off so like you know you just gotta make shit happen sometimes but anyways um i know a lot of people will want to know why we're not moving in this house and to be honest um the house we're at now is just like our home we did talk about moving in here but it's just like moving every year is just like so much um and this house is a little smaller than our current home is. Especially the living room. I just don't know. Uh, I don't know. The layout of this house is just weird. And like, she would have to get there. And it would just be like, I don't know. I don't know. I just like where we are now. And this house is still in South Tampa. All three of our homes are in South Tampa. Um, like, South South Tampa. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that is that. I'm gonna head home now. It is... What time is it? 2.18 now. I'm gonna head home, then we'll check back in. Hi guys, I just got back from Sephora. It's like so cold in my house for some reason. Like I have it at 74 right now, but I'm like freezing. I'll put this little jacket on. Um, I just got back home. I had to run to Sephora. I did like an online order. I should have picked it up. And then I went into Blue Mercury too because I was having some skincare while I was in Hyde Park. Um, I ended up really liking the Fable and Main, so I got the big sizes of them. Um, it's the Holly Roots shampoo. I surprisingly have noticed a difference of not having so much hair loss with this. So it's definitely decreased, which I'm very happy about. Um, I wouldn't say my hair is like growing back yet, but I've only been using it for a couple weeks now, maybe like three weeks, um, and she told me to give it 20 days, so I definitely think it was the different shampoo I was using and those products. Um, I am not using a leave-in conditioner anymore. I am just using this shampoo and the conditioner, and then I do this hair oil once a week. It's the Fable and Main one. It came in that trial pack I got. Um, it says stronger hair begins with healthy roots. I don't know. And then I also have been using um, this hair mask that came with the Fable and Main too. It's the it says rich repair for stressed hair, and it's just like it looks like that. And I put it in my hair, and you are supposed to leave it sit for like five minutes. So usually I'll just put it on the days that I'm shaving. I'll just put it in my hair, and then um, I rinse it out with the shampoo. Like I wash my hair after. Um, so yeah, I got two of these, well, I got, yeah, you know what I mean, I got one of each, shampoo and conditioner, and then at Blue Mercury, I got, you guys know I love using the triple lipid restore cream, but I'm like literally out of it, like I'm pretty much out of it, um, so I picked up another one of those I picked up another one of these and then I also got this daily moisturizer to put on in the morning just because I have noticed my skin being like really really dry um and then also she gave me these samples to try the CE Frolic I guess it's like a vitamin C serum um so I'm gonna try those I used the Silly Marin in the past from them and the smell was like so ungodly bad. I like it was making me nauseous. Um, and I just didn't really notice like a difference with my hair or my skin, I should say. So I didn't repurchase that. Um, and it's probably been like four or five months maybe now that since I've used that serum. So I'm not using that anymore, but I'm gonna try this vitamin C serum and see 
what's going on with that. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try this. What's gonna call it? This serum because I think it's this cream. I should say, God. Um, yeah, that is that. I have to jump on a call with our accountant in about 20 minutes now. Um, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go to the gym and I'll come home cook dinner. I'm actually cooking a new recipe tonight so I'll show you guys that. Um, and we'll go from there guys. Hi guys, it is Saturday now. Um, I just got a package in from Anine Bang. I figured we could do a little unboxing together. I... <laughs> After I bought my first sweatshirt in New York City from them, I'm like obsessed with them. So, actually, I got another one. It is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at her. She's so beautiful. Wait, hold on. I need to take a picture of this from my Instagram. Like literally, are you kidding me? She is beautiful. What is this? Oh, it's just my return paperwork. Like literally, are we kidding? Look at her. I ended up getting a size extra small and I got the one with the hood on it. Look at how freaking cute she is. I'm literally obsessed and it has the hood because the other green one I got didn't have a hood on it and it has like little distressing right here and at the bottom too it has some distressing but like these are just the most cozy sweatshirts ever I'm obsessed let's try it on really quick even though I literally have to go in like two minutes I have to go to drop off Austin's Canyon. Oh my gosh, guys. She is so cute and so cozy. I love her. Oh my gosh, yes. This is exactly the same fit as the other one I have too. But I like that this one has a hood on it. I just feel like it's so like cozy and cute. I'm obsessed. Um, I will say, guys... <laughs> These are by far the most overpriced sweatshirts I've ever bought. It's so funny because I saw Gretchen Gary wear this one the other day. And she was saying, um, she's like, yeah, I just got this new sweatshirt in. And it was this exact same one. And she's like, probably the most overpriced sweatshirt that I've ever bought. And, um, I just feel like they wash up so nice. Like, I got my green one, my first one in New York City at the store. In July, I think it was. So probably like a month ago, I probably washed it 10 times. And like, I just hang it to dry and it turns out like so perfect. Like, it's literally just in like perfect condition. So I wanted to go ahead and grab another one just because fall's coming up and things like that. Um, and I don't like, I like to buy things like over time. I don't like to just like do a big haul at one time. Just because I try and like manage my money that way. Um, but yeah, I just figured I would show you guys because I think it's really cute. That's that. Okay, I have to go drop Austin's Can-Am off, which I'm so scared to drive on the Crosstown, but it's fine. Um, let's go. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm currently at the new house. Figured I would show you guys a little bit of like how things are looking. Um, just because I like to video everything, as you guys know, just to like have it to see how far we've come with things. So let's just take a little tour. Also, yeah, I am a little bit burned from the boat yesterday. Okay, here's the master. You can see we're currently building a bathroom right here. That's getting moved outside. It'll be shower, toilet, sink. We and this will be the closet, but there's like the shower part and the toilet there right now. 
think they're putting the plumbing in over there right now. Um, there's a bunch of just like stuff here. This really nice barn door. Um, what else? Everything's been updated here. I already showed you guys that. This is gonna be the vanity for that master bathroom too. Um, there's just shit everywhere. I'm not sure what that is, honestly. I think it might be a shower door or something. And then I don't know what this is either. It might be part of the shower too, it looks like. But this is another bedroom. Then we gotta get this figured out. In here too.